One of the steps on the path to you becoming a successful affiliate is to build a mailing list, which means that you need to create a good lead magnet product as bait, and then you need to advertise this enticing freebie on your lead magnet page. The good thing about putting together a lead magnet page is that it's not even as hard as assembling IKEA furniture. The instructions aren't going to be in some incoherent mix of Swedish and English, you don't need weird tools, and you won't have any spare parts left over. Hopefully. Good deal, right? So let's jump right into the process. The first thing you're going to need is a website. This means you need to get a domain name and then get the domain name hosted with a web host. You can use a registrar like Namecheap.com and a web host like HostGator.com. Check the online documentation for both of these sites and you're going to get videos and text instructions for getting your domain set up with your web host. The second thing you need is a way to manage your email list. There are plenty of scripts you can install and host on your own site, but those are going to take a bit of tech know-how. Plus, you're also going to need to spend time managing your database and making sure your emails land in your subscribers' inboxes. So, an easier way to handle this task is to use a trusted third-party email service provider. These are services like Aweber, GetResponse, iContact, or similar type services. The cool thing about these providers is that they provide lots of instructions on how to set up your list and get your opt-in form onto your lead magnet page. So you shouldn't have any trouble setting it up, even if you consider yourself a bit of a technophobe. Next, you need a lead magnet page where you can drop your opt-in form. The good news is that you don't need to hire some high-priced, latte-drinking web designer to create this page for you. You don't need to know any code at all. You don't even need to know anything about web design. All you need to do is get your hands on a cool little web app called Landing Page Monkey, which automatically creates gorgeous lead magnet pages for you. You can even add background videos to your page, which creates a modern polished look that's going to impress your visitors and boost your conversion rates. Check out the resources section on this website for more information about Landing Page Monkey, okay? In addition to your opt-in form, the other thing you'll need to put on this lead magnet page is a bit of compelling sales copy. And that copy should give people a really good reason to join your list. Basically, you need to offer up your free lead magnet product on a silver platter with an awesome sauce headline and a couple bullet points. You want to make sure this copy really drives home the benefits of the free product and why people should subscribe now to get their hands on it. Let me give you an example of an intriguing headline. Free report reveals a weird trick to get rid of belly fat without exercise or hunger pangs. See how that works? It arouses curiosity while serving up some intriguing benefits. You could add a handful of similar bullet points below the headline to further entice your prospects. For example, you might have a line like, discover which magic fat burning herb is sitting in your cupboard right now. Another example, Find out which food you need to drop from your diet today to get rid of love handles. All right, now after you've presented these benefits, then put a call to action like, click here to get your free report. Seriously, you need to take people by the hand and tell them exactly what you want them to do, which is to join your list to claim their free lead magnet product. Simple. You're going to get a higher conversion rate when you specifically tell people what to do rather than just assuming they'll know what to do. They don't know what to do. You gotta tell them. Now, when people join your list, they'll get access to the lead magnet product, but they should also get started on an autoresponder series of at least five emails. Your email series should share some good niche relevant tips, and it should also promote one main affiliate offer, as well as secondary affiliate offers later in the email series. Let's go back to the weight loss example. If you're sending out a series of five follow-up emails, you might share five quick tips for shedding the fat. Give people some good information, something they haven't read in a million other places. Give them something they can take action on right away and start seeing some results. In other words, build your subscribers' trust. Build a relationship with them. Show them that you can solve their problems. Of course, just tossing off a few tips isn't going to solve their problems which is why you need to offer up other solutions, and these are your affiliate links to paid products. For example, you might send your list three low-fat and low-calorie smoothie recipes for them to try, and then promote a recipe book full of diet smoothies. 
Or maybe you send your subscribers an example weekly meal plan and then promote some meal planning software. You get the idea? Offer good tips in your mailings and then link to good solutions with your affiliate link. So now it's time for you to take action. Plan out your email series and start setting up your lead page. Also, be sure to check out the resources on this site for tools that are going to help you set it up in a snap. Okay, so go ahead and get to it, and I'll see you in the next video. Most affiliates set up a blog to advertise some of their wares. However, there are a few little tricks that separate the top affiliates from everybody else, and you're going to learn more about these tricks in this video. So first up, if you don't already have a blog, then you need to install one on your site. The good news is that this is a fairly easy task. Even those among us who aren't super geeks can do this. So feel free to put your pocket protector away and take off your horn-rimmed glasses because your geeky superpowers aren't going to be needed today. What you need to do to set up your blog is use WordPress, which is totally free. The best and most secure way to set up this blogging platform is to go to wordpress.org, download the files, and then follow their detailed instructions about how to upload and install these files on your site. You'll find plenty of documentation as well as a support forum if you have any questions about this process. Now, if your web host uses cPanel or a similar dashboard, you may have noticed an option to install WordPress automatically with just a few clicks of your mouse. Yeah, this option is fast and easy. However, WordPress experts agree that your installation will be much more secure if you download the files off of WordPress.org and install them yourself. Once you get the core WordPress file set up, you can then change your theme, which is your overall design, if the default theme doesn't work for you. You can find literally thousands of free themes on WordPress.org. Or you can use a trusted premium theme provider like StudioPress or Elegant Themes. Again, WordPress.org has complete documentation on their site showing you how to change the themes, and it can be done in just a couple of clicks in your WordPress dashboard. Okay, you can sit back and relax, because I'm done with the tech talk for now. Let's go ahead and get into the good stuff. If this video was a box of Cracker Jacks, then what's coming up would be the fun toy inside. And that's because you're now going to discover what the super affiliates do differently with their blogs. First off, one of the things the top affiliates do is they make sure their email lists and blogs work in tandem. One way to do this is to send out a teaser email with a link to the blog to read the rest of the article. Let me tell you why. Have you ever received a big envelope from the sweepstakes company Publishers Clearinghouse or something similar? When you open these envelopes, all sorts of pieces of paper fall out. And that's completely intentional. One of the creative directors from Publishers Clearinghouse actually admitted that they don't send single-page letters because people won't even read them before tossing them. Instead, Publishers Clearinghouse sends an envelope full of intriguing pieces of paper of different sizes, because this completely engages the recipient as they start sifting through this stuff to see what all's in the envelope. The next thing you know, the recipient is reading this piece, and then that piece, and soon they're completely hooked and looking at everything. So what you need to do is steal a page from the Publishers Clearinghouse Playbook. If you just send an email to someone, that's like sending a single letter. But if you send a teaser and get people to click through to your blog, then you have a chance to engage them, hook them, and reel them in with multiple content pieces, just like Publishers Clearinghouse does. Okay, think about it. When someone lands on your blog to read your newsletter, your goal is to get them to click through and buy the product you're recommending. But if they don't do that, you can use a pop-up window or some other strategy to redirect them to another related offer. So instead of just having one shot to sell something via an email newsletter, you send readers to your blog, and you put multiple offers in front of them if they don't bite on the first one. Okay, now the second thing the top affiliates do differently is they focus on engaging their audience and building a relationship with them. And that's because people buy from those they know, like, and trust. If you can secure these feelings in your prospect, then you're going to be able to sell them anything. The key here is to think infotainment. This is where you offer information while at the same time you're entertaining your readers. You see, no one really likes to read information that feels like it's coming out of a college textbook. No one likes to watch videos that make the viewer feel like they're listening to wah, 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 wah. You remember the teacher on the Charlie Brown cartoons? People aren't content to just learn something. They want to be entertained. So spice up your content with jokes, some lighthearted stories, and of course a conversational style. 
You want to maintain this sort of entertaining style, whether you're writing a tips article, whether you're doing a product review, or whether you're interviewing a vendor. If you want a good example of how this all works, then check out bestbonusblog.com. This blog belongs to Simon and Jeremy, who are two of the top affiliates in the internet marketing field. If you want to see how their emails and blog work together to create a lot of sales, then be sure to sign up for their newsletter to get a peek behind the curtain of their massively successful affiliate machine. Now here's another tip that comes from the top affiliates. Pick a responsive design theme for your blog. This means that your blog is going to automatically resize and display properly across all devices. That includes phones, tablets, laptops, and desktops. This provides maximum readability, which is going to make it more likely that your visitors will stick around and read everything. So that gives you a pretty good overview of what the top affiliates do differently with their blogs. Have you ever noticed how the super affiliates make it look so easy to win all the affiliate contests, pull down huge sales numbers, and pocket the big commission checks? And of course, have you ever wished you could do the same thing? Well, you're in luck, because in this video, I'm going to share with you some of the tips and tricks the super affiliates use that separate them from the average affiliates who are just scraping by. You may not want to hear all of this because some of it doesn't sound all that flashy and exciting, but never mind that, because the money you'll make when you put the stuff into play totally makes up for it. You'll love the feeling of being a powerful, respected, and successful affiliate in your niche. I guarantee it. Okay, so here's the first thing. The top affiliates engage their audiences and build relationships with them. I know, if you've watched some of our other videos, then you've heard me say this before, but I'm saying it again because it's so important. It may just be the number one key that separates the super affiliates from the super broke affiliates. Think about it for a moment and you'll see it's true. If some complete stranger walks up to you on the street and asks you for 20 bucks, it's pretty unlikely you're going to just hand the money over. Now imagine a good friend asks for 20 bucks. What you gonna do? Right, you're gonna hand over the 20 bucks without question. That's because you know, like, and trust your friend. I'm not saying you need to become best buddies with all of your subscribers and readers, but you do need to build that familiarity, liking, and trust. And you do that by not holding back. Give your readers solid, actionable tips that are really gonna help them. This builds liking and trust. Deliver the information in a friendly, fun, and conversational style. This is also gonna give you an edge in the liking department. And you're going to be more likable if you treat your subscribers and readers like human beings by empathizing with their problems and helping them out, rather than just treating them like cash machines who exist only to pay your grocery bill. You know? The second way to build trust is by only recommending good products. Don't recommend snake oil just because you think you can make a fast buck on it. That fast buck you make today is going to create a loss of hundreds even thousands of dollars per customer, because once you've lost their trust, then you've lost their future business too. All right, then you need to build familiarity. This is easy. You just need to keep yourself in front of your audience. Blog regularly, send newsletters at least weekly, if not more often, brand yourself, create top of mind awareness, and transform yourself into the go-to person for your niche's problems. So bottom line, the super affiliates know how important it is for people to know, like, and trust them, which is why they spend so much time building good relationships with their prospects. Another thing many of the top affiliates do to sell more products is that they add value to the affiliate offers. This means they offer free bonus products to anyone who buys through their links. If a prospect likes two affiliates and one of them offers a bonus product, which affiliate do you think the prospect will buy from? Right, with all else being equal, smart customers want the most bang for their buck. So they're gonna buy from the affiliate who's offering them some extra swag. You can offer free ebooks, videos, access to membership sites, mind maps, worksheets, spreadsheets, infographics, software, whatever. Okay, to see an example of how two top affiliates boost their conversion rates by offering bonuses to buyers, go ahead and check out bestbonusblog.com. The third thing the top affiliates do to boost their conversion rates is they pre sell their offers. In other words, they get prospects in a buying mood before they drop their affiliate link. They do this by offering product reviews and even direct promotions that tout the benefits of the product. This tactic boosts your conversion rate no matter what kind of sales letter is behind your affiliate link. But you'll find it especially helpful if the sales letter totally stinks. Okay, Some people create great products, but their sales copy is, well, it's lame to say the least. 
You can overcome this by pre-selling your prospects so they're ready to hit the order button as soon as they land on the sales page. Have you ever seen an ugly guy with a beautiful woman? It always kind of makes me wonder how that happened. But do you know what the secret is? This guy has a way with words. He can attract any woman he wants because he knows how to get their attention and get them hanging on his every word. The reason I tell you this is because people who know how to wield their words pretty much rule the world. You know, Hitler didn't get people following his commands because of his goofy mustache. He did it by establishing his authority and crafting speeches that wormed their way into people's heads. Marketers, politicians, parents, teenagers, even your friend who seems to always twist your arm into doing what he wants, know how to use words to engage and persuade people. And once you learn how to wield this power for yourself, you're going to see a nice boost to your niche influence and the size of your commission checks. So what I want to share with you in this video are the secrets of writing newsletters, blog posts, and sales copy that hooks your reader, gets them hanging on every word, and gets them clicking on your affiliate links. The first tip is to know your audience. You can't persuade anyone to do anything if you don't know what makes them tick. So spend some time researching your audience. Join online forums, social media groups, and blog discussions to eavesdrop on their conversations. Find out about their fears, their hopes, their problems. Find out what they really want. Be sure to also pay attention to their demographics, like whether your niche is full of males or females, what their average age range is, where they live, and so on. And here's why this is so important. Let's imagine you assume you're talking to 18-year-old guys and you call them dude or bro in your newsletter. But then you find out your market is actually full of 40-year-old soccer moms. Tell you what, the use of the word dude won't exactly win you friends and influence people here. Let's further imagine that this is a weight loss newsletter, and you start telling these soccer moms how losing weight will get them ripped and get them lots of date with all the gorgeous babes on the beach. You think you're going to sell a boatload of products when you call soccer moms dude and tell them they'll land date with hot babes? <laughs> Not a chance, dude. <laughs> This is why it's so important for you to know your audience. Learn what they want, know what motivates them, know what pulls their emotional strings, and you'll have them eating out of the palm of your hand. The next thing you need to learn how to do is to write good copy. This starts with crafting good headlines for articles and subject lines for emails. These headlines should present a big benefit and arouse curiosity whenever possible. That's because a headline is designed to get attention. And if it doesn't get attention, then no one's going to read whatever else you have to say. That's kind of obvious, but a lot of people do overlook that little point. Let's go back to the weight loss example. A pretty boring subject line would be something like weight loss tips. That's a total snooze fest. You just lost 95% of your audience with that one. Now check out the difference if your subject line says something like this. Discover the number one way to get rid of belly fat. Much better, right? It gives a benefit and it arouses curiosity. To get a feel for how to write a curiosity arousing headline, I suggest you get yourself over to any of the popular sites known for writing great hooks like cracked.com or upworthy.com. Now, the third thing you need to learn how to do is write engaging content. Now we're moving past the headline or subject line and into the article, the product review, or whatever other content it is. No matter what you're writing, your goal is to engage the reader. A really good way to do this is to find their emotional buttons and start pushing on them. There are lots of different ways you can do this. Let me share with you one proven method. Just tell a story. A good story that engages your reader's senses is going to sweep them away and get them 100% focused on your content piece. If you want to know how to spin a good tale, look to the masters like some of your favorite authors. You can even go to Amazon and use the look inside feature to read the first few pages of popular novels. All right, you'll quickly see how these writers draw their readers into another world. Of course, you're not spinning a fiction tale necessarily. Perhaps you're sharing an inspirational true story of how someone just like the reader overcame their problems. But you still need to craft a story that's going to get people hanging on your every word. You also need to tap into emotions. Make your reader feel something. If you're writing a sales piece, then make them feel the frustration and pain of their problem. Then you can offer them hope and relief by presenting the solution that will make them feel good and happy again. Finally, let me offer one last tip. Tell your readers what you want them to do and give them a good reason to do it. When you tell your readers what to do, such as clicking on your affiliate link to purchase a product, 
that's your call to action. But if you want to make your call to action even more effective, then give prospects a good reason to click right now. Don't even give them the option of putting it off because they will, and then they'll forget, and then you lose the sale. Ouch, don't want that, right? One way to get people to take action is by creating a sense of urgency, such as by telling prospects about a limited time discount or even a limited time bonus you're offering. Let me ask you an easy question here. Would you rather have one entry into a sweepstakes or a thousand entries into a sweepstakes? Assuming that there are some sweet prizes, it's a no-brainer that you'd rather have more entries for a contest drawing. The more entries you have, the more likely it is you'll win. It's obviously just a numbers game. Listen, affiliate marketing is pretty much a numbers game too, and the calculations are just as simple. The more traffic you get in front of your offers, the more likely it is you'll generate big commission checks and a comfortable living. Now, in just a couple minutes, I'll start sharing with you some traffic tips, but first, I want to remind you of something important. It's really unlikely that you'll make a comfortable living promoting just one affiliate product. That's about as likely as you getting hit by lightning this afternoon. So here's what the super affiliates do. They create a sales funnel, and they never send their visitors directly to a sales page without first trying to get them onto a mailing list. You see, one of the advantage vendors have over affiliates is that the vendor is the one that gets to build a customer list. A list of proven buyers is one of your most valuable assets. But hey, look, there's absolutely no reason why you can't build a list too. In fact, that's exactly what smart affiliates do. The cool thing is that many of these prospects will go on to be customers. And if you set up a system where you deliver bonuses to customers who buy through your links, then you can segment your lists into prospects and customers. Just like that, you have a customer list too. Okay, so a moment ago, I mentioned a sales funnel. This sales funnel usually starts with a freebie. That's your lead magnet product that you use to entice people to join your list. Here's an important point. Focus on getting prospects into your mailing list first. That means you send all your traffic to your website, not the vendors. You want your prospects to join your list, and then you'll send them on over to the vendor sales page. Got it? So what you'll need to do is set up a sales funnel, which is where you promote related products, preferably more expensive products too. For example, maybe you promote an entry-level product like a $10 ebook. Then you can promote a $100 video course. Maybe you'll promote a $500 piece of equipment or software. Then you promote a $1,000 workshop. You get the idea? Instead of trying to get rich by pocketing 5 or $10 commissions, you promote lots of other related products and services to your list so that you can start pocketing the bigger commissions, like $50, $100, $500, or even more. So you see how this all works. You send traffic to your lead magnet page, your prospects opt in, and then you promote a variety of related and in-demand products to these prospects. Now, that brings us to the question, how do you get traffic? You get traffic in the same way as you get it to any other web page. I'm talking about social media, search engine optimization, pay-per-click marketing, viral campaigns, joint ventures, and so on. These are some of the tried and true methods for getting traffic to just about anything. So now let me share with you one really cool way to get a lot of traffic. You ask the vendor to do a free webinar interview with you. Here's how it works. First, you approach the vendor about doing the interview. And I tell you what, you're more likely to get a yes if you've already proven yourself as an affiliate. So get some sales under your belt and make this vendor some money before you request an interview. This is going to trip the reciprocity trigger in your vendor, as he'll feel a little bit more obligated to help you out. You want to be sure to tout the benefits for the vendor. Namely, the webinar is going to focus on selling one of his main products. So he'll get some great exposures and make some sales. Next, you need to promote the webinar. So blog about it. Tell your newsletter readers about it. Shout it from the rooftops on social media. Okay, do everything you can to get traffic. Now here's the cool part. You should encourage the vendor to advertise the webinar as well. Probably about 95% of visitors are going to do it, just because they have a little ego involved in being spotlighted in your interview. But they also want to make sales, so they'll usually do a lot of promotions for you. Next, have people register for your webinar by joining your list. So right off the bat, you're making sure to get all these hot prospects on your mailing list so you can follow up with them repeatedly. Next, you send out a thank you email to those who register, along with your affiliate link for the vendor's product. You can tell your subscribers that buying this product is homework, which will help them prepare for the webinar. 
Then when the webinar day rolls around, you send out a reminder to your list along with a link to where the webinar takes place. What do we do next? That was a terrible drum roll. <laughs> next, you just do the webinar. Just interview the vendor on the same topic as his product. So if his main product is all about organic gardening, then you should be asking your guest for tips on how to build raised flower beds or get rid of aphids or something. At the end of the interview, you then spend a few minutes talking about the product. By this point, your guests should have wowed your audience, so they'll be interested in buying. You'll share your affiliate link and then maybe a bonus if webinar registrants buy now through your link. And this should generate some quick sales for you. Now you have a webinar recording, which you can give to your guest to use as he pleases, plus you can use it too. You can maybe even use it as a lead magnet product. You do the webinar once, and you keep making sales from it again and again for many months to come. Now, imagine if you'll do this with a dozen different guests. You can be sure your traffic numbers, your subscribers, and your sales are going to go through the roof. So take a few minutes right now and start drawing up a prospective webinar guest list. I think you're going to love how much traffic this powerful strategy will deliver to your virtual doorstep. Once you get all the pieces of your affiliate business into place, then you need to send traffic to a lead magnet page so you can start building a list. A lot of people want you to think getting traffic is some kind of hoodoo voodoo magic, but it's not. It's all about using multiple channels to advertise so that you reach as deeply into your market as possible. So go ahead and put on your advertising hat for a moment, and then we'll go over some of these traffic methods. The first method to bring visitors to your virtual doorstep is to do some guest blogging. This is where you persuade other blog owners to post your content on their popular blogs. Now, you'll see a lot of blogs that actively solicit content, so feel free to follow their submission guidelines carefully and submit articles. But don't let a lack of a welcome mat prevent you from submitting content to a blog owner. You can knock on their virtual door and specifically ask them to post your content on their blog. And why not? They get free content. They'll also get some free traffic if you offer to tell your newsletter readers, your blog visitors, and social media followers about the article. The other important point about guest blogging is to use your byline wisely. Don't use it to just talk about you. Instead, your byline should talk about your readers, specifically their problems and how you can solve them. In other words, your byline should be a short, attention-getting, curiosity-arousing advertisement that gets people clicking through to your lead page. The second way to bring in more traffic is to tap into social media. You can start by setting up profiles on the major social media networks, such as Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Secondly, you want to encourage your existing blog readers and newsletter subscribers to follow you on social media. Next, drum up some social media followers by doing co-endorsements with other people in your niche. What this means is that you approach other marketers and offer to tell your followers about their Facebook page or other social media if they'll return the favor for you. Yeah, it's the classic, I'll scratch your back if you scratch mine kind of deal. And it's a pretty effective way to get more followers or even drive prospects directly to your lead magnet page. Okay? Next, you want your Facebook or other social media followers to help you get some new followers. And here's how you do this. You do this by posting viral content like memes or cool quotes and then tell people to like and share the content. And when they do, you're naturally going to build your fan base. Another way to tap into the viral aspect of social media is to specifically bribe people to share your content. Now go ahead and put away your roll of $100 bills, because you're not bribing corrupt government officials here. Instead, all you have to do is offer something interesting to your prospects, like maybe a free video or something, if they share your link on their Facebook, Twitter, or Google Plus accounts. This is super easy to do if you use Social Share Monkey, which is a web app that unlocks a free gift once someone has shared your content. Check the resources section on this website to learn more about this tool. Now, the third way to get more traffic to your lead page is just to buy it. Facebook has a nice paid advertising platform where you can select your demographics so you're pulling a really targeted audience. And Google AdWords is another option. Just be sure to target narrow enough keywords so that you're fairly confident that your visitors are interested in what you're selling. For example, a keyword phrase like tips for losing weight after 40 tells you what the person wants and how old they are. That's good information, and it's probably a good keyword to bid on when you're using pay-per-click marketing to promote weight loss stuff. Finally, you can also purchase banner ads on relevant sites, like forums dedicated to your niche. You might even spend a few dollars testing out big sites like Reddit's advertising platform because it's a cheap way to get your ad in front of a lot of people. So now let me share a few tips for optimizing your ad campaigns. 
First thing, you want to start small, especially if you're buying ads. That means get your ad in front of a small audience first. If the ad works, then go ahead and break open your advertising piggy bank and plunk down some more cash on a bigger ad buy. Secondly, be sure to test your ad campaigns. This means tracking your ads and traffic sources to see which ones are the ones that are bringing home the bacon for you. Once you understand what works, you can do more of the same thing, right? 